Before we get started with today's video, I've got some Patreon shoutouts. Thanks so much for joining my Patreon. I hope you enjoy the extra videos. I think there's about 50 or 60 extra videos now. Chelsea Potaka, Kid Curry, Cindy Foss, opalshop.com.au and Dave LaRocca. Sorry if I haven't read your name out yet. I'm a little bit behind. I'll do those in the next video. I wonder if that's a piece of wood over there. Uh, might be. Let's have a look. There's definitely some wood poking out there. And a little bit on that side, and it's got that shape. So let's keep digging. And here I am in my workshop. It's the first video that I'm going to do some filming in my workshop. I'm still not sure what it is. Bits of it look like bone, but then other bits look like wood. It's very, very fragile. I don't know if you can hear that. But it's almost like hollow. I'm going to use a lot of consolidant, some B72, to see if I can strengthen it a bit before we carry on working on it. There's a, a layer of mud, so I have a large section of it. But for now, I'm just going to try and get as much B72 in here as possible. I've spent an hour or so just putting Paraloid on it, B72, to strengthen it because it was so flaky. And yeah, I still don't know if it's bone. There's there's bits sticking out that look like bone, but then other bits are more wood looking, so I'm not sure. It's quite narrow. Reminds me a little bit of fish bone. Yeah, I'm not seeing much. I'm going to use the air abrasion and see if I can just remove a little bit of this dirt that's still stuck on it. Maybe we can figure out what it is. I've worked away at this side with my micro air abrasion. You can see there's little bits of wood sticking through, just little fragments, very small fragments. So I think what we're looking at over here is some petrified forest floor. So it's just a bundle of sticks and bits of wood. It's not bone, so I think for us to get a better look at it, I'm just going to cut it straight through here, and then we can have a look at what this old forest floor used to look like. Here are the results of that cut and you can see there's a lot of woody carbon material over here and over there a few layers of it and then kind of just like a silt stone or a mud stone in between so yeah not a fossil it's just a layer of what some people call forest floor petrified forest floor so it's it's fossilized this wood is fossilized but it's almost like a low-grade coal. You can actually see how it deforms some of the layers are. It starts up here. It gets pushed down over there. Well, now we know. <laughs> there's some plant material in there. And there's actually some iron pyrite in the middle here. Don't know if it's going to show up. Mystery solved. It's not a fossil. Well, it's not a... It's not bone, at least. It is a fossil of some sort. 
there's plant material in there. You learn something new every day. <laughs> I've just been to my PO box and I've got two bits of mail here. One from Taiwan and one from Germany. Let's have a look what's inside. This one's from Tsai, who I talked to in that video that I made on how to become a paleontologist. He's a paleontologist in Taiwan, working on whales and all sorts of other the creatures he's finding there. Let's see what's inside. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. That's some paleo artwork. It's a calendar. Oh, how amazing is that? <laughs> this is some of the the megafauna from Taiwan. That's the big crocodile he found. Another big crocodile. That's so cool. <laughs> Thanks so much, Sai. Oh, it's more in there. Ligocene. <laughs> Oh, that's really cool. Some coasters. The Lab of Evolution and Diversity of Fossil Vertebrates. Hmm. That looks like a, a panther. With some really big teeth. <laughs> Another crocodile. What's this one? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. Look at that keyring. He's always handy for getting the scale. Very cool. Crinoid stem from the Baltic Sea in Matrix. Documents and letters. Wow, there's so many things in here. A sea urchin. Ooh, how awesome is this? A mystery present. <laughs> Another mystery. Oh, this is so cool. Thanks, Linus. <laughs> That's a beautiful crinoid. Look at those crystals underneath it. Oh, sea urchins. I do love sea urchins. Wow. <laughs> Look at that one. That's a beautiful sea urchin. Linus did send me some photos of him prepping these with acid. That looks really good. That's an amazing one. I've never found one that nice. <laughs> it's also inflated, so it's it's got that 3D look to it. It's not squished flat. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. This is that one. That's really cool. Endoceras. Hmm. It's not like an ammonite. It's not like a belemnite, but more like a smooth, long ammonite. Very cool. 465 million years old. That's an old fossil. I don't think I've got a fossil that old. Mystery present. Let's look. It's a mystery fossil. Might be a shell. Yeah, that's very cool. Also from the Baltic Sea. Oh. That looks like a tiny bit of sea urchin there on that side. Another piece of shell, that's so cool. <laughs> what a great present. <laughs> Thank you so much, <laughs> Linus. Thanks so much for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. At least we figured out that mystery fossil, which wasn't really a fossil, maybe it was a bit of a fossil. I was even googling things like Mosasaur egg and dinosaur egg, just in case it was something cool like that. 
unfortunately not this time. And thanks so much Linus and Sai for sending these cool things. Can't get over how cool the sea urchin is. Stay safe, I'll see you on the next hunt.